Well, this would be a good problem to do that. Uh, sodium-24, half-life 15 hours, is used to study blood circulation. If a patient is injected with an aqueous solution of 24 sodium chloride, whose activity is 2.5 times 10 to the 9 decays per second, how much of the activity is present in the patient? How much of the activity is present in the patient's body and excreted fluids after four day, 4.0 days? Yeah, that would be a big problem. Okay. Notice that when they use D, D doesn't stand for days, it stands yeah, for decay. Days, decay. I guess if they were going to say days, they would do this. They would use mm -hmm. DY for days, so D stands for decays.
say like this way or? Oh, you got the scientific notation? Yeah, yeah as long as. Or just better to make it. Um, well, your final answer, you might want to write differently, but the intermediate answer is you can write however you want. Okay, then we'll just do. Is it what you got? No. Yeah. One point two five times ten to the ninth. That's right. We'll just make it the same way, so you would just be consistent. Something that would make your life easier. Hit mode. Mm -hmm. Now on the top, choose scientific instead of normal. Hit enter. Or yeah, hit enter. And now, how do we get out of here? We do second quick. All right. Uh, and now, um, oh, I think it, uh, yeah, yeah. take your answer. Now we'll put everything in scientific notation for you, so you don't have to write it out. Of course, that's not what I have on the board, but um, it's easier to. Maybe I should have done that and put everything into scientific notation because it's a pain to write all the zeros. Okay. So, all right. So now you're in scientific notation. So this row should be six point two five times ten to the eighth. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. That's right. Three point one two five times ten to the eighth. One point five six two five times ten to the eighth. Seven point eight times ten to the seventh. times 10 to the 7th. And 1.9 times 10 to the 7th. So it's going to be between those two numbers. Yeah. It's around probably like 2 like around two, uh, two and a half, roughly. Yeah, it should be about, um, it's, so four is about halfway between these. So it should be fairly intermediate. Um, so what, what are the units on these? Decays per second. That's right. So we started with this many decays per second, and we're down to these. Notice that we've had a lot of half-lives pass here. With this many half-lives, maybe the tables are not that convenient. Maybe, again, it's better to do it mathematically. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, the table gets a little inconvenient. Notice that this many half-lives means we actually have only a very small fraction of the original decay. If we've gone from 10 to the 9th to 10 to the 7th, that means it's decreased to one, around 1% 1 of where it started. It's decreased by a factor of 100. So the number of decays, this might seem like a big number, but this is only about 1% as big as this number. Okay. Um, so if you, if, you, if you half, and then you half again, and then you half again, if you half seven times in a row, you're down to only about 1% of where you started, actually, roughly speaking. Okay, so that's how we would use um, the table. Were they asking us for the activity remaining? Yeah, that, that's yeah. That in, the, in the body. That's right. How much so, of the activity is present in the patient's body? Right. So this is a very important uh, practical importance. Um, they they, they uh, injected them with this radioactive solution because they wanted to study something about them. Um, so they, uh, but the radioactivity might be dangerous to them, so they'd like to know how, how long are they going to be exposed to that.